Why Our Current Education System is Failing by a high school blogger by the name of Bud, written on May 22, 2009. As my high school career is slowly coming to an end, I graduate June 11th, I have found myself particularly reflective on the value I have received from high school. I end my high school career with a subpar 2.5 grade point average, having never received a prestigious academic award, and a quick glance at my attendance record would reveal numerous ab absences, 32 days just this year. If I listen to what I have been socially conditioned to believe, subpar grades plus no awards plus poor attendance equals the end of my life, right? I beg to differ. Chasing the A for most of my life, along with the millions of other students, I have been taught to believe that the secret to a successful life is to get outstanding grades. Slowly over the years, however, I have discovered this premise to be completely false. Luckily, over the past few years, I have been fortunate enough to immerse myself in a variety of empowering perspectives and thus have come to understand that we are 100% responsible for our life. I have been fortunate enough to recognize that education goes beyond just the classroom. Life is our greatest mentor. Myself, along with millions of other students, have failed to apply ourselves, not because we're not smart enough, not because we don't care about our future, but because we're tired of being dictated by a system of letters. Continually brainwashing students into believing good grades are essential in living a successful life has had some disastrous consequences, by the way. Students are more stressed than ever. Cheating has become increasingly rampant. Students spend an excessive amount of time obsessing over getting perfect scores. After all, they've been told that they won't get a job if they don't. In fact, a classmate of mine routinely stays up past 2 a.m. in order to stay afloat. Excessive? I think so. What's even more depressing about our current education system is that it leaves millions of average students behind. Millions of kids with incredible potential are left to die, educationally speaking. Many of my current classmates, each of whom could literally change the world, are paralyzed by fear and are instead choosing the path of security. That is, get good grades, get a job. We can live our purpose today. Much of what we learn in school is not practical in the real world. Where are the classes on blogging? Where are the money management courses? Where are the classes dedicated to eradicate poverty? Where are the classes that help us find our purpose? Our current education system places too much emphasis on the A and not enough emphasis on unleashing the promise that lies in each and every one of us. One of the most startling shortcomings of our current education system is the lack of relevant reading. We are forced to read ancient text that we often find difficult to understand. All this does is encourage a distaste for reading. I'm not suggesting that ancient text as Shakespeare doesn't have any value. However, what students read should be up to them. But wait, you say. Then they will be just reading the latest trash? To which I reply, yes, but at least they will be reading. Our top priority must be to instill a passion for reading. The progress of humanity depends on it. For reading to complement education like it needs to, the books we read must be relevant to us, not our teachers, not our parents, but us. Each book should be likened to a puzzle piece, completing our soul. Our current education system is putting too much effort into things that don't matter. Busy work, perfect grammar, memorization, all of which does nothing for us in 10 years down the road. Over the past four years, I have read close to 100 books, only 15 of those books being school-related. Those 75 books I read outside of school completely transformed me. My philosophy, my attitude, who I am today, all stem from the numerous books I devoured. Education is about unleashing one's confidence. Education is learning from failure. Education is growing from experience. Education is discovering your passions, then pursuing them. Education is not rote memorization. Education is not analyzing books that have no meaning to you. Education is not being paralyzed because you're afraid to fail. Having attended an international school in Shanghai, China, I can honestly say I have learned more from bringing running water to a rural village in China, traveling to Russia, and making friends from around the world than I ever have in a classroom. Education is meant to help us find our passion, our purpose in life. 
Unfortunately, our current education system fails miserably. We've been told you have to go to college to be successful. After that, you have to go to grad school. Make sure you get all A's or you will fail. Instead of embracing education as students, including myself, have adopted a mindset to just survive. We're so used to being told who we can or cannot be, many of us don't even know who we actually want to be. All the education in the world is worthless if you never unlock what makes your heart beat. Again, I have nothing against college or even grad school for that matter. In fact, I believe both can offer tremendous benefit to our being. The problem lies in the fact that we've been told that you have to do this and you have to do that in order to become successful. Who says life has to be a linear line? The traditional lifetime line, high school, college, grad school, job, that you mostly hate, retire, die. Education is all about growth. It's all about experience. It's all about creating authentic relationships. It's about being human. It's about connecting with humanity. Our current education system is inherently flawed. Without living out our passions, we just add to the clutter of the world. When we choose security, we sacrifice our passions, killing part of us in the process. I know I speak for millions of students around the world when I say, we're tired of being told we're not good enough. We're tired of doing mindless work that only adds stress to our lives. We're tired of feeling unworthy just because we fail to meet the expectations of the A-plus poster child. We're tired of being told who we can or cannot be. Shouldn't we decide that for ourselves? We need to be inspired. We need to be encouraged. We need to spend time doing things we love. We want to change the world. Is that too much to ask? So many students fail to realize their potential because a simple grade tells them they have none. They receive a D and thus feel they are worthless and have nothing to contribute to this world. This defeats the whole purpose of education. Education is meant to build, not destroy. In no way am I suggesting getting good grades is a bad thing. That would be foolish. Getting good grades is not the problem. Allowing grades to dictate one's life is. Grades don't guarantee success. It's obvious our current education system needs major reform. Until then, however, it can proudly boast a fat D on its fridge. I'll give you an A if you transform the world. Bud. Thanks, bud. Thank you.